Okay. All right. Good. Let's get started, everyone. Stand in parallel stance. Heels together. Seiza. Moxa. Moksiyami, Sensei Utagani, ready? Okay, jump up. Let's warm up, jumping up and down. Side to side. Forwards and back. Out and cross over. Okay, good, step there. So when we do out and crossover, normally we just use our feet. Today we're also going to do use our, uh, use our hands as well. So I'd like you to have hands out like this, and then cross over. Then out, cross over, okay? Let's give it a go. So when you, do, when you cross the right leg in front, you also cross the right hand in front, okay? And then out, and when it's left leg, left hand. Okay, have a go. How do you mean? Okay, stop there. So there's two stages to it. There's the out. So everyone go like this. Your hands and your legs are out. And when you do the crossover, you do the crossover. Follow me? Then out. Then crossover. Then out, don't forget the out part, then cross over, that's it. Out, cross over, out, cross over, out, cross over, there you go. Looks like you're doing a funky move, Fun funky dance move. Good, and stop there. All right, since you got that one, we're gonna add another level to this. A little bit harder in terms of your hand-eye coordination, see what you can do. Okay, so instead of having both hands and legs out and then both hands and legs cross over, what you're going to do is you're going to have your legs out and your hands crossing over and then the other way, your legs crossing over and your hands out. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's it. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. I think you're getting it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, yame. Shake your legs and your hands out. Okay, rotate your arms forwards, big circles. Arms back. One forward, one back. And change. Right arm across. Push towards you. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out. Bring the arm really close. Good, change arms. Left arm across, push towards you. Deep breath in. And breathe out. Right arm up, touch your back, pushing down over the top. Well done, change arms. Hands in front, upper body spin. Hands and hips, rotate. Change direction. And yame, right foot out, toes down. Toes back. Foot back and rotate the foot. Change direction. Bring the knee up, circle. And change direction. Holding still, balancing for 22 seconds. Close your eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 
22. Open your eyes, knee up to your chest. Crown to the side, hip forward. Turn it over. And knees together, heel up. Good, shake the foot out. Left foot now, toes down. Toes back, foot back and rotate. Good, change direction. Bring the knee up, circle the foot. Good, and change direction. Holding still, close your eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Open your eyes, knee up to your chest, round to the side. Turning it over, and knees together, heel up, nice and high, feeling the stretch in your thigh. And shake the foot out, back to parallel stance. Okay, when I say come in, we're going to bring the left hand to the hip and then out into stomach level punch. Stomach level punch is Chudan Zuki. The objective of today is for us to get used to saying the Japanese words, because Everyone here is orange belt or above, so now, we need to, in order to prepare for the next level and next level after that, uh, Japanese becomes more and more important. Okay, so try saying that. Chudan Zuki. Chudan Zuki. Okay, good. Left hand out. Chudan Zuki. Stomach level punch. Kamei! Hai! Punching slowly. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so with this punch, make sure the returning hand is all the way back to the hip, palm side up. Okay, and the punching hand hits the same target, whether it's your right hand or left hand. So both hands move in sync and stop at the same time hitting that target. And the target is stomach level, um, so stomach level height, like this. So it's not too low, as, as low as your belt. It's not as high as your shoulder. It's about halfway between the two, okay? Above your belly button, just here. In the middle here, just where the rib cage ends at the bottom. Okay, when I say hajime, I'd like you to do this stomach level punch by yourself and I'll come and have a closer look. Ready, hajime, begin. Okay, check that you're standing in parallel stance, toes pointing forward, one shoulder width wide. Good. And check that you're hitting exactly the same target. So it's not like that, it's the same target, same target, turning the hands at the end. Good. Well done. Okay, keep both hands moving in sync. One hand coming out, the other hand coming back, so everything stops together. That's it, well done. Okay, and your shoulders, they are pretty much square to the front, so we don't turn out like this, we keep square like this. Good, and yame, back to parallel stance. Okay, the next technique is head level punch. In Japanese, it's jodan zuki. Let's have a go at saying that together. Jodan zuki. Okay, and then putting that together, jodan zuki. Good. When I say kume, you're going to bring your left hand to the hip and then out into Jodan Zuki head level punch. Kume! Punching slowly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, well then keep your elbows close to your body like this and then turn both fists at the end so everything is in sync, okay? To your own time now, Hajime. Staying focused to the front, trying to, hit the, uh, trying to hit the same target. One hand, then the other hand, okay? Make sure you move your hands in sync. So this is out of sync. Okay, all like that. Out of sync, okay? In sync means both hands start and stop together. Okay, keep going for another few seconds. Shoulders square to the front. Okay, orange belts, try not to turn your body out like this. Square to the front. 
that's it. And yummy, shake your hands out. Okay, the next technique is Urukin Uchi, forward back fist. Okay, so forward back fist is Urukin Uchi. Let's try saying that. Urukin Uchi. And then put it together, Urukin Uchi. Good, when I say Kamei, from your parallel stance, you're going to bring your hands in front like this. As quickly as you can to make forward back fist. Hands in front for Urukin Uchi, forward back fist. Kamei! Okay, good. Check that your fists are about the same height as your mouth and your chin like this. Elbows are underneath your fists, like so. During the strike, you turn the fist, strike with your knuckles to the front and then back. Let's have a go. Right hand first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Okay, good. Try not to have your hands too close. There. Okay, about the same distance between your fists and the elbows, creating a nice straight lines for, from your forearms like that. Okay, the wrists need to be straight, so don't, don't bend them. Keep them straight like that. And as you're doing the strike, keep the wrist relaxed so that it can swing out and then back like this naturally. Out and back. Okay, I'd like you to keep going by yourself. Okay, ready, Hajime. That's it, keep going. Let's have a closer look. Okay, not too close, orange belt, not like this, like this. Like, there you go, elbows underneath your fists. Check that you're standing in parallel stance. Okay, so parallel stance is not like this. Okay, like that. Okay, straight, straight like this. There. Okay, toes pointing forward. Knees slightly unlocked, slight a little bit of tension in your toes to grip the floor, so for a bit of balance. And yame. Good. The next technique is side back fist. In Japanese, it's yoko urukin uchi. So let's have a go at saying that together. Yoko urukin uchi. Okay, put that together. Yoko urukin uchi. Excellent. Okay, so when I say kume, you're going to bring your hands in front with your right hand on top to make yoko urukin uchi side back fist. Hands in front. Kume! Okay, good. Slowly, right hand first. One, two, three, four. Good. Make sure you look first. Raise the elbow. Strike towards the target, keep the wrist relaxed, and then bring the hand back underneath. Okay, right hand, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, good. Okay, keep going by yourself now, Hajime. Okay, that looks good. Well done, keep the wrist more flexy. Flexible, like this, out and back, out and back. Good, you got it, well done. Okay, good. Okay, yummy, yeah, back to parallel stance. Okay, the next technique is Haito Uchi, rich hand strike. Okay, so let's, having, let's have a go at saying that. Haito Uchi. And then put that together, Haito Uchi. Okay, good. When I say Kume, you're going to prepare your left hand behind you and then strike. Okay, let's have a go. Left hand out, Haito Uchi, rich hand strike. Kume! Well done. Okay, with the rich hand strike, check that your thumbs are out of the way with both hands. Okay, the same height. So your hand is the same height as your own eyes, like this. The elbow needs to be bent a little bit to the side like that, because when you hit the target, you don't want the elbow to lock out too much. Okay, so keeping it slightly bent and the muscles tense creates like a shock absorption. Okay, situation here, there, like so. Let's have a go, slowly. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so watch close closely from the side. Preparation behind you. Hand comes up. Uh, so hand comes out to the side, comes forwards, and then across. Okay, ready. Eight. Nine. Preparation. Out, forwards, and across. Ten. Okay, so the key aspects of this strike is making sure that number one, your thumbs are out of the way like this with both hands and they stay like that. The second thing, as you prepare, reach quite far. See if you can touch with this part here, which is your ridge hand, okay, to the side muscle of your, of your back. So not the middle, but the side like that, okay. Then the hand comes out, keeping the wrist straight, and then you're striking across. Okay, as you prepare with one hand, the other hand goes to your chest. Okay, about the same height as your badge, level like that. Strike, there, and strike, okay? Have a go for the next few seconds by yourself. Ready, Hajime. Okay, good. Green belts, try to keep your your palm fairly straight. So try not to try not to curl it like that, especially when you prepare behind you, try not to go like that. Try to keep it horizontal here and then keep it horizontal when it comes to the side as well. That's it. Fingers need to be really close together and slightly tilted away from the target. You don't want to hit with your finger. You want to hit with this part here. Okay, there, that's why you slightly turn like this. And with the thumb, bend it out of the way, reaching towards the knuckle of the little finger like this. Okay, keep going. Okay, good. After the high toe strike, the next strike is going to be a short punch. In Japanese, short punch is Shizuki. Okay, so let's have a go at saying that, everyone. Say, Shizuki. Okay, so generally it's quite, you know, quite short, quite easy to say that, okay? Let's have one more go. Say, Shizuki. Good, okay? When I say Kamei, you're gonna bring your left hand to the hip and then out into the short punch position. Notice the position of the elbow, it's quite close to your body and returning hand all the way back to the hip. Left hand out, Shizuki short punch. Kamei! Okay, good, punching slowly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, good. Make sure your thumbs are out of the way like this. Okay, proper fists. And your wrists are straight along the bottom. So we shouldn't be bending it that way or that way. It should be straight like that. Have a go to your own time now. Hajime. Okay, good. Orange belts, bring the elbow a little bit more forward like this. So it's in front of the hip. Okay, well done green belts, that looks good. That's it. Add a little bit more sharpness to it now. Use both hands, synchronized. One hand comes out, the other hand comes back. There. Good, and yummy. All right, the next strike is rising elbow strike. In Japanese, it's Hiji ate. Let's have a go at saying that. Say hiji ate. That's it, one more time. Hiji ate. Good. When I say kame, you're going to bring your left hand to the hip and then up into rising elbow strike. Hiji ate. Left hand out. Kame! Hey! Good. Check that your elbow is right to the center. 
punching, uh, striking slowly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, good. Make sure your hand comes all the way back to the hip with the other one. Why do we do that? Why do we bring this hand back? It's because we're actually doing two elbow strikes here. One is an opponent in front of us, we're striking up like this. The other one is somebody behind us and we're striking them with the elbow like that behind. There. There. So that's why we bring this hand back with the same amount of force as the L as the arm that comes up. Okay, so both arms moving with equal amount of energy and force. Have a go by yourself. Hi, Jimmy. Good, well done. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And yummy. Okay, the next strike is round elbow strike. In Japanese, it is Mawashi MP. Let's have a go at saying that. Say mawashi MP. Okay, and putting that together, mawashi MP. Okay, good. When I say kame, you're gonna bring your left hand to the hip and then out into mawashi MP round elbow strike. Left hand out. Kame! Hey! Striking slowly. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, good. Check that your returning hand is all the way back and the knuckles of your striking arm are towards your chest, like this. Okay, the elbow comes up and then across, creating a curve like that. And that hits the target from the side. There. Okay, have a go by yourself. How do you make? Keep going, that's it. That looks fine, well done, and yame, back to parallel stance. Okay, the next strike is outside shooter. Okay, in Japanese, it's sort of a mix between Japanese and English. The actual English words would be outside knife hand strike. Okay, but we don't normally say that, we just say outside shooter. All right, the full Japanese for that is Soto Shuto Uchi. Soto means outside, okay? Shuto is knife hand and Uchi means strike. So you say shoto, uh, Soto Shuto Uchi. Let's try saying that. Soto Shuto Uchi. And then putting that together, Soto Shuto Uchi. Outside Shuto. When I say Kame, you um, you're going to bring your left hand to the ear and then out. Left hand out. Soto Shuto Uchi. Outside Shuto. Knife hand struck. Kame! Hey! Good. Okay. So with this strike, we're striking the same height as our eyes because we're trying to hit the side of the head of our opponent. The wrist is slightly bent like this, and the elbow is slightly bent down like this. Okay, we're not trying to make this horizontal. Okay, we're just having just a slight bend like so. Returning hand, straight and on your hip like so. That's it. As you prepare, the hand that's in front goes to your chest. The other hand comes from the hip to your ear. Then you use a semicircular motion come forward and then strike and turn both hands at the end. The objective is to hit the target with this area here, which is the knife hand, okay? So the preparation is both hands like this and then strike both hands turn like this, okay? Preparation, strike, preparation, strike, okay? Go to parallel stance. So when I say Kame, you're gonna bring your left hand to your ear and then out into Soto Shuto Uchi, outside shooter knife, knife hand strike. Left hand out. Kame! Hey! Good. Striking slowly. One. Two. Three. Four. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, good. Have a go by yourself. Hajime. Prepare. Strike. Make sure you have a nice semicircular motion of your hand where it comes away from the ear, goes forward, and then turns at the end. Okay, good. Green belt. Left hand needs to be more circular, means that it needs to come away from the ear pretty much as far as the elbow is. There, and then forward and across. That's it. Good, looking better. Well done. So your orange belts, swap left hand, then right hand. So it's not the same hand each time, you're swapping. One, two. To the chest, the other hand comes to the ear, and then strike. To the chest, ear, and strike. Keep going for another few seconds. That's it, that's good, okay? And then returning hand comes all the way back to your hip. Okay, orange belts, I just want you to have a go with your right hand only, leave your left hand by your thigh and just have a go like that. There, there, there. Preparation. Strike, follow me. Chest. Chest, then hip. Preparation. Strike. Chest. Hip. Preparation, strike, chest, hip. Okay? And then get that motion of those four stages so that it becomes easy. Once you can do it with one hand and the other hand by, by themselves, then it's easy to put it together. Green belts and above, whilst the orange belts are practicing that, I'm going to get you to come through with a different combination. Okay, so you're going to go outside shoe toe, then the other hand high toe. Outside shoe toe, preparation, there, high toe with the other hand. That's it. Remembering to change the position of your thumbs. Next to the index finger for the outside shoe toe, and then out of the way for the high toe strike. That's it, keep going. That's it, well done orange belts. Try to have more circular motion like this. Good, orange belts have a go with the other hand and, and green belts and above have a go with the other hand as well. Okay, out, forwards and strike. And keep the palm the same height as your face. Okay, same height as your eyes throughout the movement. Like this, yeah, there, chest, hip, out, uh, prepare, out, chest, hip, prepare, strike, chest, hip, that's it, keep going, prepare, strike, chest, hip, prepare, strike, chest, hip, that's it, doing really well with that one. Okay, more circular like this orange belt. So it's not like this, it's more around. That's it. And when it goes to the chest, badge height. Not stomach height, badge height. Good, and yummy. Okay, good, shake your arms out. All right, so now orange belt, you're going to come through, come, uh, coming through with the outside shooter. Actually, we'll all have a go doing the outside shooter. Left hand out, outside shooter. Hey, hey. Striking slowly, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Okay, and have a go by yourself now. Hajime. 
operation and strike. That's it. There you go. That's it. Well done, orange belt. Much better now. Okay, good. And well done, green belts and above as well. Everyone shake your hands out. Back to parallel stance. The last strike that we're going to do. It's called inside shooto. Okay, inside shooto. In English, in Japanese, if you were to look at it as a full Japanese phrase, it's uchi shuto uchi. Inside knife hand strike. Okay. So when I say kume, you're going to bring your left hand to your ear and then out into, uh, into uh, uchi, shuto, uchi, inside shuto, knife hand strike. Left hand out, kume, hey. Okay, striking slowly, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, good. So the preparation comes across straight to your ear. Make sure you keep the hand close to your body as you prepare and then strike across. As you prepare, keep bring the elbow about the same height as your shoulder. Strike to the front. Okay, have a go by yourself. Hajime. Okay, good. Inside shooter, so orange belt, this way, and then strike. Maybe have a go with one hand, just your right hand, okay? Making it easier. So it's ear, strike, hip. Ear, strike, hip. Ear, strike, hip. Okay, keep going like that, orange belts, green belts and above, I'd like you to do the last three strikes in one combination. That is, haito, outside shooto, then turning it over, inside shooto, preparing behind you, haito, outside shooto, turn the hand over, inside shooto, that's it, keep going like that. That's it, good orange belt. Keep going for another few seconds. Strike, hip, prepare, strike, hip, prepare, strike. Good orange belt, shake the right hand. Have a go with the left hand now. Green belt and above, continue with that same combination. Orange belt, prepare, strike, hip. Keep going, almost there. Strike, hip. Prepare, strike, hip. Prepare, strike, hip. Prepare, strike, hip. And shake the hands out. Okay. So let's just say, let's try, just try practicing saying the last two strikes. So the first one is Soto Shuto Uchi. Try saying that. Soto Shuto Uchi, which is this one, the outside Shuto. And the last one is Uchi Shuto Uchi. Try saying that. Uchi Shuto Uchi. Okay? And that is the inside strike, inside Shuto. Okay? From there, left hand out. Uchi Shuto Uchi, inside Shuto, knife hand strike. Hey! Hey! Striking slowly. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and yummy. Well done, everyone. Shake your arms and your legs out. Did really, really well with your strikes today. Okay, made heaps of improvement. Well done. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to do a little bit of fitness. Got to have the fitness in there. Okay, so we're going to start by jogging on the spot. Okay, and when I say right, you're going to take a big lunge to the right, touch the floor, and then back to the center and jog. When I say left, okay, so like a side step, and then touch the floor and then back. Okay, let's have a go. Right, to the right, jump, touch the floor. That's it, and keep jogging. Left. 
right, left, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, and yummy. Good, shake your arms and your legs out, take a deep breath in. Hold it for a second and breathe out. Breathing in and breathing out. Okay, good. Slightly turned out on your feet, hands next to your head. Squats by the numbers. Itch. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Rick. Chitch. Hatch. Okay, shake your legs out. So now we're going to reverse the motion. Instead of starting at the top and then going down and coming up, we're going to start at the bottom and then come up and then go down again. Okay, so everyone crouch down like this. Okay, and you can extend your hands in front like this, this time. Okay, itch, come up and then back down again. Down again, down again. Knee, up, and back down. Sun, she, go. That's it, this is what it looks like from the side, like this. Rick, sitch, keep going. Hatch, quick. And yummy, shake your legs out. Okay, the next one is push ups. Okay, so you're going to place your hands on the floor, feet out, back straight, dropping down low, and then back up. Everyone ready? Push up position. By the numbers. Itch. Knee. Sun, she, go, rick, sitch, hutch, ku, ju, and rest. Okay, as you're resting, just give your arms a little stretch. And now we're going to reverse the motion so instead of starting at the top you're going to start at the bottom rise up and then go back down okay this is what it looks like so you start at the bottom like this with each count rise up and then back to the bottom like this okay take a few deep breaths and then when you're at the bottom, make sure that your body is off the ground. Yeah, make sure your body doesn't touch the floor. Everyone ready? Start at the bottom. And itch. Rise up. Lay down again. Knee. Sun. She. Shake your arms out. Good. For the next one, you're going to need either a sofa, okay, something to put your feet under, or somebody to hold your hands. So I see that you have a sofa in your living room. So what you can do is place your feet underneath like this, bend your knees. Okay, and then when you do the sit-up, 
you're going to be able to stay balanced rather than falling back. Okay? So, bend your knees. That's it. Bend your knees, hands next to your head. With each count, you're going to come up. And the objective is to reach right elbow to your left knee. And then back down. On the next count, you come up and you reach left elbow to your right knee. And then back down. Okay, everyone ready? And itch, come up, reach, and back down. Knee. Sun. Shi. Nice and controlled. Try not to jolt up, but rise up gradually. Go. Rook. Sitch. Hatch. Okay, take a moment, take a few deep breaths, okay, now I'd like to cross your hands in front, touching your shoulders, like this, so you put your hands on your shoulders, and with each count you're going to rise up and touch both elbows to both knees, like this, and then back down again, okay, and then as you come up, do it in a controlled way, and as you go down, also do it in a controlled way. Try not to slam your back down. Okay, everyone ready? Do your best. This is the last ten, last set. And itch. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Rick. Sitch. Hatch. Ku. And Chu. And Yame. Good, take a few deep breaths. Alright, doing really well on that. Really, really well. Okay, everyone jump up. Standing in parallel stance. Heels together. Right? Yawn. Okay, have a quick drink.